there. In this video resource, we'd like to share some insights and information with you about the group tutorial feedback and critique process that we use in the School of Art. This learning activity is a major part of art school experience and it's vital for developing your studio practice. In these tutorial sessions, you and your peers will present your work to one another and develop knowledge and skills in reading, understanding and discussing art practice. In a group setting, you will learn how to speak confidently about your work, as well as be able to offer considered responses to the work of your peers. It's important that everyone in a group tutorial has opportunities to express their ideas. Developing confidence and ability to speak about your work is essential for your life as a practicing professional artist or creative arts industry practitioner. So group tutorials are guided by your lecturers, but the process will highlight your voice and will shift to the student teacher power dynamic. Your ideas and responses lead the discussion. This helps your lecturers to track your progress and development. At art school, you will encounter people of different ages, cultural backgrounds, genders, and most importantly, different types of practice. This diversity contributes to a rich discussion and a chance to expand your thinking and making possibilities. So there are four key domains of practice that you will develop through the feedback and critique process. Engagement, process, context and encounter. Engagement is about developing the personal attributes required to persist with ongoing dialogues about your creative practice. Process is about the methods, materials and processes used to make your creative works. Context is about the disciplinary, social, political and historical context of the practice and the contemporary ideas and conversations that are being had about those contexts. And finally, encounter is about the experience of the artefact, installation or performance outcome. These key domains of practice not only help to shape your learning, but are also the key areas of focus for professional practicing artists. So how do we achieve this? It's vital to create the right environment for a group tutorial. This begins with careful consideration when setting up the work. Things you need to consider are the location and placement of your work. This might be to do with how you would like the viewer to look at your work, but it can also be based upon how you've set up your work in your studio space. So we actively aim to create a safe space for all participants to contribute to the discussion. This includes making sure that everyone is familiar with the process and structure of the tutorial and that the group understands what is expected of them. It's important for you to approach the group tutorial with an attitude of sharing and discovery. Becoming a practicing artist is a lifelong pursuit. Feedback and critique are key elements for improving your practice while you are at art school and beyond. The more familiar this process becomes, the more confident you will be when talking and presenting your work. We encourage you to engage in the process with an attitude of generosity. This is part of building a positive learning culture and community in the school. We hope this video resource has helped you to understand the nature of group tutorials and we wish you well in the ongoing development of your art practice. <laughs>